Okay. Um, what are the characteristics of living things? So uh, let's start with uh, number one. Um, basically, I'm going to go from uh, not really small to there, there's no specific order, but uh, I'm starting out with something very very small. And the point of this is to give you hints so you can kind of answer it with me. So it's very small. Um, and the professor said it was the fundamental unit of uh, light. Not I'm thinking of an atom, but it, it's a fundamental. It's the smallest form of life, smallest unit of life, you could say. All right. So uh, number one, characteristic of life, uh, char characteristic of a living thing, has to be composed of. Now would say living blank, but uh, you can't find a non-living one of these. Uh, composed of cells. Composed of cells. All right. So number two. All right. So in order to do the, try and think of a hint for this. Maybe uh, you can think about resources that you get resources, and use it as energy you know kind of think of a car type of you're absorbing oxygen into the car it uses it to drive the pistons and then exhaust carbon dioxide so um, the, here it's um, acquire nutrients mm nutrients from the environment and I'm going to abbreviate environment as EN and the letter B acquire nutrients from the environment and convert it into a different and I'm going to uh, abbreviate different as DIFF convert it into a different form alright so to acquire nutrients from the environment convert it to a different form so kind of I know oxygen is not a nutrient but you can think of a getting oxygen into your body converting it um, into carbon dioxide which gives your body energy uh, ATP so alright number three let's go to number three all right. Uh, for this, I'm trying to think of a hint. Um, a species has to do this. Uh, any type of life form has to do do this, because uh, if well, they don't do this, and let's say they have an infinite amount of age that they can last out, they can still be killed by predators. And there's a low chance that they'll survive, and that the species will survive. So they have to do this to keep the lineage going. So if you've gotten my drift by now. Um, this characteristic of a living thing is uh, reproduction. To reproduce. Okay, number four. All right. Um, basically, uh, this is just I don't. Yeah, this is a characteristic where living things. Uh, here, the book definition. The basically what is a species or, or something changing over time life forms that change over time so this is to evolve all right so now with number five all right so with number five um I'm trying to think of uh, kind of like evolve it involves change over time but within one lifetime of a life form and y you all everyone's done this uh, you know your grandparents or your parents said it a child's in the process of doing it I mean technically everyone's still in the process of doing it but anyway this if you haven't figured it out by now is growth I'm growing up all right so we got two more let me uh, clear the screen there all right so, number six is, uh, I'm just going to give the definition here, there, there's not a real, let me see, it's maintaining a constant internal environment, 
maintaining a constant internal environment. Uh, I'm trying to think of a mnemonic to help you memorize this. Um, uh, maybe Homo sapien will remind you of it. Anyway, uh, this is called Homeo Stasis. Maintaining a constant internal environment, homeostasis. All right, now the last one, number seven. Think of um, think of your five senses. Your five senses. Think of your five senses. So if you haven't figured it out by that hint, uh, number seven is responding. All living things have this characteristic of responding to external. stimuli. Think of a plant. They're alive because they move towards the sun when the sun is shining. Alright. I mean, that's just an example, but alright, that ends this video. How do I switch programs?